Right, and now in this video, video in less than three minutes, I'm gonna tell you how to reset your mm, battery from the hoverboard. If your mm, charger does not uh, charge your battery, your hover battery, this is the hover battery, and uh, you're thinking your battery is dead, it not may be true. That's poss possibility. This is possibility. Then your battery is uh, going down uh, with the voltage level too low to start the charger uh, charging it. As you can see, I have taken off the battery of my scooter. It is uh, opposite from the um, turn on button. It was there. So I have disconnected, take it out, and I've checked the voltage. This is a, that was a 24 voltage. So that was below uh, 36 much below this than 36 sometimes it's even less than that but it doesn't matter i'm uh, get to the point uh, here is the batteries has a balancer like that it may be different shape type and whatever but it works every time the same it works each part of the battery each core of the battery separate but the battery is connected like a snake plus minus plus minus plus minus so the head of the snake is a plus and the tail of the snake it's, it's a minus and all together that battery is giving 36 volt as you can see each battery has a plus and opposite is a minus 3.6 volt each core and uh, the beginning of the snake the plus is here and the end end of the snake is here you have to find a new battery because it, it may be different but uh, get to the point right so reset that battery uh, you have to just make the short circuit from the minus from this cable into the minus into the tail of that snake you don't need any uh, voltage meter, nothing like that. Just this, make the short, short circuit from this cable to that minus, to the end of the snake, whatever your battery will be. So plus is already connected with that red cable and the minus is going through that all systems. So when you make a short circuit, you uh, charger will be flashing green if if it is connected like it is in my position it's flashing green when you do that short circuit just take the cable take the whatever just piece of metal um, paper stitcher and make a short circuit from here to here with your charger connected so when you do that when you just touch it this and that you see that's a lob it's a piece of uh, wire when you touch this and that your charger automatically go on red and start charging your battery after a few seconds it may turn green again and stop working so you have to do this process again and just touch it touch it once for a second or two seconds that, that will be enough to start the charger working and start uh, your battery charging and uh, sometimes it works after the first first short circuit sometimes it need a couple of times but it finally start working and it, that will charge your battery when it take off after a few hours that means your battery is uh, recharged and you don't need any, any um, voltage meter or, or stuff like that it's good if you have it, but you don't need it. And that's it, that's how it is work. I've just recharged my battery, just put it back, and and I hope that will be working. I wouldn't leave the cable uh, connected in here. If you want to do it, don't do it, because uh, that battery needs, uh, needs a balancer. If you avoid the balancer, you may damage that battery, or, or it, it may be um, dangerous. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that will help.